So I've encountered a bit of a problem. Um, my P1S now is gosh, almost six months old and I've never had this issue before. Um, I think I know what's causing it, but uh, we'll see. I'm getting a Z-axis homing error and it produces this error message on the screen. Um, if you click check assistance, it comes up with this. It tells you that. Not true, the heat bed's dead straight and the nozzle's clean, but it's not that. So it does its homing and appears to get it right, but doesn't. So I've cleared any rubbish out and I've actually taken the whole machine apart and tipped it on its side just to see if there's anything in there. But still, it's coming up with an error. Throws the dick right down to the bottom there. Now, this problem is normally caused by lighting up a torch a bit, trash getting caught between there or that surface there or that surface, that surface there. I've already cleared this and I've been puzzling over the problem for, for quite a while. And I found a link to this page on the wiki, which takes you through a whole load of stuff. Um, talks about recalibrating the, the bed and removing the bed and recalibrating it. And tells you about that's where the brackets are and, and so on. I'll put the link in the description for the for that page so you can have a read of it if you think it's going to be relevant. But in actual fact, that's not my problem. I've been scratching my head over this for quite a while now and you just can't see anything wrong. Uh, that's the error that appears on the printer. There. But no, that's not my problem. If, if you try and manoeuvre it, it'll tell you to recalibrate the z-axis. That achieves nothing. Because what the actual problem is, is you see that linear bearing there behind the red arrow. That shouldn't be like that. That should be like that one. In the hallway. Now it's done this because part of the um, the process is that it lowers the bed right down to the bottom. When it gets an error, it, well, in my case when I got an error it lowered the bed all the way down to the bottom and then that bottomed out that linear bearing and has pushed it up. So I'm going to push it flush and assume that's going to solve the problem. Obviously, if you don't, if it doesn't solve the problem, you won't be seeing this video, but uh, I'll give it a go. It's going to be difficult to film, but I'll, I'll use... These are a good tool, actually. These have seen some service. They're Nipex spanner pliers, and they press, press them in a parallel fashion. So if I can get that just to sit on the bottom of the plastic underneath and then the top of that linear bearing and push it in. I'm hoping it'll solve my problem. Well, there you go, I pushed it flush. Quite tight in the hole, but uh, it does move. It's not actually secured, it's um, loose. So just to give you some idea of how much room you require, that's the bottom of that linear bearing sticking down below the plastic piece. And then that goes into that hole which I had the, uh, the trash in. It sticks down quite a lot. So if I go back to my job, put it back on, go down to cache, I think. Um, here we go, cache. Oops. Cache, and then that's my last job. Print it. 
Okay, you actually need do need to recalibrate the Z. You'll say Okay, so that that's calibrating my axis. If we go back. Okay. Last job. Print. So now it's happy. It's about to start the print. Yeah, it's printing happily. Problem solved.